Okay, this is part three of the military scientists that sent me this document um, can, pertaining to what they do to the humans um, to create soldiers for the military. <clears throat> okay, this is part three. And you'll have to listen to part one and two and four da -da, in order to be able to understand because if you just watch this one video, it will not make any sense and you really do need to hear the whole thing. Okay, uh, July 2006. When I came back, the units were running along better than they had before. We had lost 30% due to automate, automation difficulties and complications during surgery and the suicide. We had one unit that broke his own neck and the five other units that observed this followed suit and terminated themselves. The members that were supposed to be clean were causing problems because of the cranial implants and brain implants, all kinds of problems were occurring. Dead dreams, waking dreams, and the most terrifying memories and traumatic were dreams of birth. It's been said that birth is worse than any bachelor experience. And after watching some of these units relive the traumatic experience, I'm inclined to agree. December 2006. <clears throat> we were receiving orders stating that the units were going to be deployed in Operation Retaliation in the summer of 2007. And to make sure that they were ready for combat, so we were given a few months to iron out the kinks. We worked very closely with the units until February 2007 when a man from the Department of Defense came to the facility. We were actually excited to show off the units and their enhancements. We had solved many of the emotional problems using electronic stimulation, but our excitement turned to shock when he gave the orders to destroy every unit as better alternatives had recently been authorized. When asked about retaliation, we were said and stated that we had a bit this long, a few more years won't hurt. <clears throat> I aided and facilitated the murder of over 600 units. The way that these men were herded and called by cattle should be considered a war crime. And I know that I am also responsible and I deserve to die for my actions. Even the fourth unit was let out, let out of his room and given a lethal overdose of potassium. While some nanometers can repair the organic tissue, they cannot restart the heart, and his body was processed much like the others. The powers that be had decided that they would spend all this money to create these units, but they would cough off of their death, and the following units were processed and refined in the way they pass off these healthy vitamins that contain flexi oil and omega-3. Incidentally, the omega-3 was the name of the overall project that had many different projects within it, and definitely a layer of the onion. Onion layer. <laughs> I have no idea what the Bible was called or what company they used to issue this, so I imagine it was Merck, M-E-R-C-K, Merck. On my previous video, I said Merck, Merck, or whatever, Mom, sorry, my bus, it's M-E-R-C-K. She said, I imagine it was Merck, as they often use recycled biological waste, which is recycled humans, in their vaccines, and have been linked to our operations and the maneuver of biological warfare. We even had sponsors who wanted to try various chemicals on the units to overpower and control it. Right? We even had sponsors who wanted to try various chemicals on the units to determine the effect of life organics, operation retaliation. From what was it close to me? This close to me. This was seen to be a mock invasion using our own units to overpower and control our military. We had factions of military personnel that didn't know what was going on and what was going to happen and by tooth and nail to stop the plans for a new 20th century from taking place, including the depopulation of the planet, but not by nuclear war. Of course, one or two bombs will fly before the war is over. But if you infiltrate the military and cut the core of some of the troublemakers, then we can get back on track and continue down our unfettered path to global domination. I wonder if she likes the murder she wants to be dominated the court. Dominatrix. Sick. Anyway, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to just get everybody together to try to bring in this all home. That was me saying this is not the document. Get back to the document that she wrote. Okay, she said, these units were designed to be the best of the best. 
and one that was equal to 10 human units and superior to any human being. They could calculate faster and brand faster and did not get tired quickly. They jump higher and longer and may have no need for water or to stay hydrated as the organics were able to recycle certain waste into a hydration unit in the base of the spinal column. They were going to be turned on the United States Army, and then whoever decided not to fall into line. So the possibility of them being turned on the people was very real. But the problem with retaliation was that they did not know themselves until they had received the order from a higher power. The document, as you shall see, is up to the point of issuing orders to the units to kill key members of the armed forces. But the rest of the document is over 39 pages in this blank and written in watermarks and says under construction review. <clears throat> the Alpha and Omegas in September 2007 were presented with our future. Omega 13 was the designation of one unit that was our proto prototype. We had DNA samples from our previous units, and the metal frames were brought in, and these grew living human tissue around the frames. Also, we take a human and remove the spinal cord and place an extractor, and this grew a combination of metals and enhanced bone. All of our doubts and issues with Phoenix had gone. This was cutting edge space age. Nobody had used equipment like this, and we felt like the pioneers in our field, even though we were essentially standing on the shoulders of the giants, they already constructed the exoskeletons. And we were simply in the assembly crew, but none of us felt like that. We saw that these humans had facets of human humanity in their personalities. They're controllable. They did get confused, but had less issues than the Phoenix units. I explained that I have a relationship with 0100101 Roger, as his name was, but would not answer to. Again, his units could not be harmed by chemical weapons. We could put a 9 millimeter slug in the unit's chest, but the world would never breach the eagle's skeleton behind the organs. Some of the units were amazing to watch and grow. They would appear asleep in this coma as you saw muscles grow in a period of hours over the metallic surface of the eagle's skeleton. Once again, they would pick up a tank but would suffer damage to their tissue. They are not easy to stop, but these are, they are big men and they sweat a waxy substance on command that protects their skin, protects their skin against chemicals or acidic compounds such as BX. The nervous system works independently, so neurotoxins are affected. And due to a self oxygenating chamber in the neck, feeding through the two gas chambers in the chest, they do not breathe. They could literally survive in space with space with no suit as they have internal heat. But this is their biggest problem as they tend to overheat, and considering each unit contains a smart bomb, then they could very well be the cause of any nuclear attack. We have 29 minutes in the United States today that have been active since 2008. I have a codex to shut down 66 of these units. Now, since she said we have 29 minutes that have been active, but she has a codex to shut down 66 of these units. I guess the rest aren't active. But by now, there are many, many more. I do not know how many. A report was leaked into our department that spoke of these units stopping an alien attack and then being used to enforce the government of the United Countries. Also, these units are not are multicultural men and can pass for every color and creed. They can also simulate and feed death. Each unit shall either be the greatest asset of the human race or the biggest nightmare we have brought upon ourselves. So, as I have stated, I have 15 codes that can be issued as orders to the units to make them stand down and essentially disable them. This is a simple process, and the codes can be input through a neurological network that is maintained by a computer network called OAMN, Organic Access Memory Network. We simply attach a flash drive with the codes and place them in each corresponding unit's main drive, and you can input these manually into a special sacrum that is developed for each unit. But that is time consuming. A decent hacker will be able to do this with the entry into the Department of Defense. You can gain access. My personal station log is on. My personal station log on is also included. But as our access to the network was limited, 
if you're not even seeing networks that we would to on to. Even if emails were prohibited, prohibited as I have some for myself as leverage. Uh, log on CGHY831416824456. Pass leisure 45. Changed every three days. The most people use the same words to change the last digits. Well, she's she telling me this, and then she, right here, and then she sent me 15 of the codes um, with all these numbers here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 